welcome back everyone it's been a while since i posted a video it was about two months ago when julian and i were getting married up on this hill there's the trail just over a kilometer all through the woods starts down the laneway goes all the way back into the woods but my contribution this year was a light show on the barn dashing through the snow in a one horse open sleigh or the fields we go A day or two ago, I thought I'd take a ride, and soon Miss Fanny Bright was seated by my side. The horse was lean and lank, misfortune seemed his lot. He got into a drifted bank, and we, we got upside. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Just get a bobtail nag to 40 for his speed Then hitch him to an open sleigh and crack he'll take the lead Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh So here we have the big mega tree. This tree alone has over a thousand feet of Christmas lights on it. It's divided up into two sections. There's bottom half and top half. So the bottom and the top can be controlled individually. Coming over to the barn, we have our string tree, seven strands of lights, 25 feet each. They started at the top of the barn and we're through a down. There's two bells. They're a wire frame wrapped with Christmas lights. We got uh, some flashy snowflakes, some candy canes over there. Uh, I can't see it. There's a star up in the tree. That's another metal frame. And then over here we have this tree. The lights we have here on the railing, they're the most interesting. So typically, you would call that a bulb. That is more of a lens, and inside there, there's three bulbs. What they do is they can change between red, green, and blue. By controlling each of them with a signal from a computer, we get over 16 million colors out of one of those lenses. Got a little bit of a mess on our hands, but either way, we got a Lido Rama controller. What it does is it has 16 extension cords coming out. Each extension cord can individually, uh, can be individually controlled. So that means the top of the tree, bottom of the tree, uh, the string Christmas tree, the candy canes, the snowflakes, the top of the barn, uh, the east tree, all of them can be controlled on and off with this controller. So this is computer number two. Now the brains of the operation run off of this guy. And this is a Raspberry Pi. It's an open source computer. You run an open source programming on it. It is like a standard household computer, just compact. It runs an audio out 
like a typical, it runs a typical headphone jack out to a speaker outside. Everything's connected to a router, so I can connect to my phone. I can be out in the parking lot um, on my phone, and I can change which song we want to hear. I can change the volumes, all that fun stuff.